The times, they are a-changing. I don't in any way want anybody to leave listening to this message from God's Word to hear this pastor excusing what we're doing today. The trend in our day and age, ladies and gentlemen, is to minimize interference in our daily routine. Our worship mantra today is me first, God second. And for the average American today, the Lord's Day means a quick stop over in the house of God as quickly as possible so that I can get on and go to the beach. But I'm going to submit to you today that ever since the Lord Jesus rose from the grave, this day, the Lord's day, which is my preferred use of the word, I don't even refer to Sunday. I am so disinterested in someone who wants to come to me with calendars and figure out who said what and how the Greeks viewed this. I could not care less. What I do know is that God evidently had me in mind when he said something about me relating to him on the mountaintop on a special day, in a special way. After all, do you not love me, God was saying? Am I not the one who has delivered you? Am I not the one who is saving you? Am I not the one who's giving you life? Can you not even give to me a little bit of time? Can you not even be faithful to me? Why did he put it into the heart of the writer to the Hebrews in chapter 10 and verse 25 where we read, please forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. I don't think what God had in mind was an option. God knew what was best for us. And God, once again, in His divine and infinite graciousness, is giving to us six days in which to do whatever we feel. But He's asking us at least once to stop and to come together on the Lord's Day. This is the same gracious God that says, I'm going to let you have 90% of all the money you ever make, but 10% is mine. How many of you are robbing God right now? How many people right now are talking to me, you are robbing God blindly? You're giving money to everything and anything, but you are not giving 10% back to God because it's God's. And by his grace, he said, you can have 90%, 90% of everything that you earn, but 10% is mine. It's for the Lord's work. It comes into the, to into the storehouse. How many of you are robbing God blindly? You're in his face. And how many of us are in his face saying, it's my time, it's my beach, it's my boat, it's my schedule. It's what I want to do. And I'll just simply squeeze God in when I feel like it. 